so I have dug our little mini crater here. How's that for lucky? I would have never been able to make it there without moving hay around. Now we just gotta get us some materials to move that. Should not be terribly difficult. That's what we're gonna do. Welcome to Idaho Homestead, or welcome back to Idaho Homestead, if you've been here before. We are in the back of our property where we don't go much. You won't see us back here too often, only because it's a work in progress back here. This used to be a junk heap. We've been working on cleaning it up. We're gonna eventually turn this into pasture, but we gotta get some fence, a lot of things cleaned up. Not today. Today, what we are working on is getting some water for these cows. Um, currently, in the last few years, what we've done has been to take a hose from the house faucet out to the cows. So you can see the house there in the background. We drug it about 110 feet or so of hose that we had to run out there. Um, in the winter, that gets really difficult because everything freezes. So we had to use the expandable hoses, as seen on TV, expandable hoses, whatever you want to call them. And keep those in a five gallon bucket that we would take inside after every time we'd use it to keep them from freezing. That's a lot of work, it's doable. And if we have to do it again this year, we'll be okay. But I would like to improve on that and get some water closer. So luckily what we have is a water line that runs clear out here to where I'm standing, from the house to me. It's probably about two to 100 and 200, 250 feet. So this spot right here on the ground, when we moved in about three years ago, was a pile of rubble. Somebody had basically used it as their personal dump to the point where there were dirty diapers laying on the ground out here. Most of it was metal and plastic from an old like fifth wheel trailer, but it was just a big pile of rubble right here. In cleaning that up in the midst of it, we found this is a pipe going into the ground. I thought initially it was just part of that trailer. And so I tried to pull it out, wouldn't budge. Tried to start digging out the one end, thinking maybe if I got some dirt off of it, I could pull it out. And turns out it went really deep and is very attached to the ground. Prior to that, I had noticed a water line inside that I couldn't figure out where it was going to. I put two and two together and realized that this water, this out here, is that water line from inside. In my digging, I also found this wire. It's burnt, it's destroyed, this end is. Underground, I don't know what it looks like. But I figure that it was an old, like, Richie-style water trough, heated water trough. I don't intend to put another Richie water trough out here, but I do want to put some running water out here. So this is the back side of this pen we've got the cows in for now. We want to put one out here, one on that side, somewhere like right in there. But on the other side of this water trough, two water spigots. So we can water this back part that's gonna be pasture eventually. We don't have any other way to water it except for a sprinkler out here. And that one up there we're gonna to use to water the cows and possibly to water the garden in the summer. I have rented a tool that I can trace this water line and we're going to figure out exactly where it runs. The reason that I need to trace it is one, I just don't want to dig a bunch of random holes to try to find it. But two, I don't really know where it runs at all. I know it's here where it comes out of the ground. This edge of the deck is where it leaves the house. You would think it would run a straight line and I could follow it that way and get a rough idea of where it is, except that in the shop over here, there is a spigot sticking in the ground. And I don't know if it's attached or not. My worry is, is that it runs from the house to the shop and over here at an angle versus running just straight out. And that's why we're gonna trace it and figure out where it's at. If it runs to the shop, it's gonna be a whole heck of a lot more work and we probably won't be able to get this water line in this year. If it runs straight out, I can just dig a couple holes really quick and be done with it. So I have here a pipe and cable locator that I've rented. 
that we're going to attach to this and see if we can figure out exactly where that water line is. So the instructions I was given don't really make sense. I was told to plug this into my ground wire, hook that into the ground rod, which they don't have. The gal told me, use a screwdriver, stick that in the ground. Oh, that ground is hard. That seems a bit janky to me, but we're gonna go with that. This does not plug in there, but it does plug in this side. So we're gonna go black to black and assume that's right. Hook that to my ground, red to red. Hook that says to my conductive. Power that on. Power this on. It looks like it's working. That's what we're going with. See if we can figure out where our water line is. We're gonna follow this down towards the house. I need a more than I am weary. Travel upon our retreating. So this guy's pretty straightforward. The closer I get to the pipe, the more noise this thing makes. And so I just kind of zigzag it on the ground and it just kind of draws me a general idea of where it's at. So we're going to follow it through this corral and see where it comes out on the other side. And I breathe in the air fresh from the blessed Midwest. I am held by the forest where I go for rest. And washed by the waters of Lake Michigan. And wherever I go, I will return again to my So I have dug our little mini crater here, trying to find this line. I want to dig it by hand to find the line. Um, I might come back with some actual power tools and do it, meaning like a mini excavator, because I got to move this line. Let me back up a minute. Trace that line last night. Indeed, it does go to the shop, which means on this end where I want to put this line, it's about six feet away. On that end, it's about 25 feet off. So I'm gonna have to dig a trench about 25 feet long to get the water line where I want it to be on the other end of the garden, closer to the shop. On this end, it's only about six to eight feet, somewhere in there. I may come back with some actual power tools, mini excavator, dig that trench. They're kind of expensive to rent. If I can find one to borrow, I'll definitely do it. I'll consider renting one. I just don't want to spend that money. We dug this little mini crater. I've gotten below the frost line. Our frost line is about 30 inches. I'm down to about 36. Still did not find the line. So I got out the tool again to lo our line locator and went down in that hole, turned the sensitivity way down so that I could um, be a little more sure that I was close to it. I think I'm right on top of it, but I'm still about 14 inches short of hitting it, which means it's sitting at like 42, is that 40, about 48 inches deep, which is four feet. That's plenty deep for here. Um, we won't have any frost issues. I, that was one thing I was worried about is this line wasn't gonna be deep enough to be frost free. Turns out it's about 48 inches. <laughs> Dead 
down there. Right behind the shovel. Forty-four inches down. That is a deep hole. We're gonna get back to that water line in just a minute. I still have to buy the frost-free hydrant and the water line to cut over. I gotta figure out what distance I need on that. Also, I need to buy or borrow a pipe threader so I can thread that. Well, I need a bandsaw first so I can cut that pipe off, a pipe threader so I can thread it to put an elbow on there to run over to where my hydrant's actually going to be. So a few things need to be bought before I can really get too much more into that. I do want to see if I can find a mini excavator to borrow and or rent, depending on if I have some awesome neighbors that own one. But in the meantime, we still have about two and a half cords worth of wood that we got to get hauled in here. So we're going to jump into that while I kind of network out and see what I can find, do some research on where I, what kind of pipe I need. We'll be back to that in just a minute. Well, we've just spent the last couple hours splitting and moving wood, but it just so happens that my brother who lives just like 30 miles away, is helping my parents with some landscaping. In doing so, they rented a mini excavator. So he just brought it over. How's that for lucky? So we have this guy until Monday morning, eight o'clock has to be back. So I've got several hours of daylight today and then all day tomorrow if I need to, um, to use it. It shouldn't take much more than maybe an hour to get everything done. found the water line down there last night so we're gonna go that is in the middle of the garden there we're gonna go from there just over right next to this gate we dug our hole to there it's where we stopped so I initially had the idea of taking it from this gate here all the way over to here it's an extra about 15 feet I would have had to take that line it was impossible, however, to get my machine between this feed bunk and the hay, and so I would have never been able to make it there without moving hay around. Um, didn't have anything to move it with, so we decided to do that. The more I think about it, the more I like the idea of having it in the garden so that we can get water to that garden easier. It's just going to be on the edge. We don't need to be tilling or anything around it, so it's never going to be a problem. Um, and then we can just run a short hose from there over to here about once again 15 feet to water those cows as opposed to the 115 feet that we've been running it back to the house that short 15 foot hose we can simply just drain every night we won't have to worry about taking one inside if we wanted to we could still use the expandable hose inside 
but it would be much, much shorter. We had a huge, I mean, it was 120 feet of hose. So we won't have to do that. And this one here on the back side of the um, corral, I'll give you some perspective, there's a house over there. So we're on this back side, same deal. The water line is over here. We're gonna bring it about 10 feet over to here. Reason being is because this side down here is where our gate is. And so now we just gotta get us some materials to move that. Should not be terribly difficult. That's what we're gonna do.